Welcome to the final episode of the Timco Retail Manager course. This course has been focused on building a real world application in order to simulate what you would experience at a new job. In this episode, we're gonna recap what the application is, what it does, and why it's now a valuable tool for further learning. So let's jump right into the code. So this is our complete application. If you've been following along, we've done a lot of stuff in here. I just wanna kind of recap what's here and then where we go from here. So right now we have five different folders in the API folder, we have our, our API. And our API is what uh, broadcasts out all of our data, our authentication and so on. It's backed with a, with a class library that has all the actual data access and business logic in it. And then we have two different user interfaces. We have our Blazor web application, which is a progressive web application. We also have a desktop WPF application called the TRM desktop UI. Now, both of those talk to the API and are able to get the same data and work the same way. In fact, they both share access to this library and both reuse the same code to access the data through the API and get authentication and verify authentication and so on. So this application is all around disconnecting things in order to reuse them properly and at the same time allow for some rapid application development through things like, hey, just create a new user interface. If you want a Xamarin UI, cool, no problem. Just go ahead and reuse the same library and you can have a Xamarin user interface next. Now we do have a database. It's built upon this SSDT. So this is a SQL Server data tools that allows us to build out our database in code, put it in source control and deploy it and upgrade it as necessary using our deployment tools. Speaking of which, we have used Azure DevOps and have a managed pipeline for deploying all of this code out to Azure whenever we do a new commit. So this is all the data. You've seen this, you've probably worked with this quite a bit if you've watched any of the previous videos, hopefully you have. But at this point, this is an extremely valuable resource going forward, even though the course is ending. And here is why. The purpose of this application was never to build a, an application that we would then sell. Okay, this was not an idea of, hey, we're gonna build a complete application that um, can immediately be launched out into the world. There's a lot of repetitive code that we just didn't do. For example, if we look at the, the desktop UI, we really have just a few, a few views. Actually, there's a views. So we had the login view, the sales view, the status info and user display views. That's all we had. So we didn't have things like even storing and um, updating the uh, information on the inventory and making sure that we have a checkout process that fully works and receipts and all the rest of the stuff that comes with a real application. But a lot of that was repetitive code. It's code that is gonna look a lot like this code here, this XAML code, and yet it's going to be slightly different. And so instead of creating those 10, 15, 20 different views that we're going to need, I created the one that was most uh, valuable to you as the viewer. And the same thing is true with our portal. We have a few pages in place. We have the products page, we have the register and so on, but really that's all we have but you have all of the templates necessary to then go forward and create the rest of the pages to kind of round out this application. So the point of this application was to show you how an application lifecycle worked and really hit all the important notes for an application to be built without overwhelming you with repetitive tasks. So we started in .NET framework. We've upgraded the .NET Core 3.1 and then on to .NET 5, which is where we are right now. So this right now is primed as an extremely valuable test bed. And here's why. 
because if you want practice in a real world application, this is the place to start. When you get hired at a job, you're not going to get hired and have file new project be your first thing you do. Instead, you'll be given an existing application that has thousands of lines of code, maybe millions of lines of code, and you're going to dive in and start making changes and improvements. That's what you have right here. You have an existing application that you can then improve, even though it's not perfect. You can make it better. You can make it expand on it and continue to grow it. That's what we have right here. And that's the whole point of the Timco retail manager is to give you that, that test bed to play around with. Also right now, we only, like I said, have hit the high spots and haven't done the repetitive work. You can do that repetitive work and build this out as a full application. If you do that, you will have a great portfolio piece. Now, just taking my code and saying that's in your portfolio, that's not going to cut it. You've got to do the work of actually building out the rest of it. Okay. But this is an incredibly valuable portfolio piece. If you build the rest of it, because it's designed well, and you have the two different user interfaces, you have the API authentication, all those really tricky bits you have in place. Now it's just a matter of doing the work of planning out and adding the different views that you need and the code that supports those views. Okay. So it's all kind of roughed in here. Now it's time where you can take this and take it to the next level. This is also a great place for you to try new things. You have a working application, try adding that new thing you've learned into it. See how it works. Okay. You've seen me upgrade this from .NET framework to .NET core 3.1 and from .NET Core 3.1 to .NET 5. Go ahead and try upgrading to .NET 6. I intentionally did not upgrade it to .NET 6 so that you could, okay? So there's lots of stuff in here for you to be able to take it to the next level. And you may say, well, Tim, I want you to show me how to do it. Well, when it comes to getting hired, you're not gonna have your boss sit down and show you how to do your job. You're not gonna have an end result to compare against to say if you did a good job or not. What you have to do is have a goal and complete that goal without having something to compare it to other than the completion of the goal. And that's what you've got right here. So this is a great test, but I would highly encourage you to take this code and use it to continue your education. Now, if we go over here to uh, analysis code metrics for a solution, You'll see right here that this has analyzed our, our solution and right now maintainability index green. Great. That's awesome. But we also have lines of source code and roughly it's two, five, six, uh, seven, 7,500 or so lines of code. I would expect if you're going to build this application out for real as in to actually be useful that you will eclipse 100,000 lines of code. You're at 7,500 right now with all those extra forms and the support behind them necessary. I would expect definitely that you would be in the $100,000 or 100,000 line range. But if you have that, if you have a working application that you can publish to say, Hey, here's how I tackled this. This is my portfolio piece. And it's a hundred thousand lines of code. You've got something that's a statement piece and it's something that is related to business, not just to fun stuff. This is related to what your potential employer will be wanting you to do in their business. So it's a really great opportunity for you to show off what you can do. Again, don't take credit for my code make sure that you add your own code and point out that you didn't start from scratch, but this gives you again, a good place to show off what you can do. And at the same time, a lot of the hard work has already been done. And if you ever get stuck on a spot where you're like, Hmm, I'm not sure why that works the way it does. You can go back and watch the video where we did that. Okay. So there's a lot of value in this course, it's not a completed course. 
the course is done, but it's not completed uh, work, okay? There's still a lot for you to do and a lot of value to get out of this. Now, if you just wanna watch me create stuff, this is the last video for that, okay? But that's not really where you will gain a lot of the learning you need. If you need to go deeper in a C-sharp first, then the foundation C-sharp course, that's the place to go. But this is the application portion where you're applying what you have learned in building an application. <laughs> so this is not the place to say, I need you to show me everything. Now is the time to practice what you've learned. Okay, so that is the Timco Retail Manager series. That covers everything we've done so far in a series. And hopefully you've got a lot of value out of this and hopefully you're not done getting value out of this. I really wanna see you grow and improve out of this. I love to hear how that happened. Now, if you're watching this on YouTube, this series, this course will be on IamTimCorey.com. We have phase one, phase two, and now phase three of the Timco Retail Manager for sale on the site. And at some point we'll probably blend that into one course. So if you're watching and saying, hey Tim, not all of the Patreon goes back far enough to get all the source code at all different spots. That's what the courses are for. The Patreon was mainly for as we went, okay? Just wanna clear that up. So go over to imtimcore.com, check out the course and see if, hey, maybe you wanna continue this course and then continue learning beyond it as well. All right, thanks for watching. Thanks for being a part of this series. This series has been a lot of fun. It's been a long time going through us. It's been three years of working on this project, which again is realistic as far as business goes. It actually is more advanced than most businesses will be because we kept it up to date. But I would encourage you, if you can, do that in your business as well. Well, it does take some extra time, but it is very much worth it. All right. Thanks for watching. Thanks for being a part of this. And as always, I am Tim Corey.